And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a custom posterization effect in Adobe Photoshop. As always you will find the image that I'm using in the description below and I've got to show you that this effect can be easily applied to different images. Let me start with the first one. I'll add a posterization effect and we've got the levels 4 up to 255 so from 0 to 255 is our typical color range but you can see it's way more than four colors when we've got four levels and the reason why is all of the channels so the different color channels are affected we need to make the image black and white first i use a different adjustment layer for that and now you can automatically see the posterization adjustment layers on top and we've only got four colors let me use the auto button for black and white it's just a slight adjustment Let's add a gradient map. We can reset the gradient over here. Just pick a default, I use this one. And I add two more points to it, holding Alt. The location 25 and 75%. In this example, it's fine. I need to change the colors. So double click on the color squares. And I use a dark blue on the left and mid blue then a light blue and finally I'll make the one on the right side white it's a good combination I like that and if we now wanna customize it further we will simply use a curves adjustment layer make sure that you place it right on top of the black and white adjustment layer and now you can see in real time what the adjustment does that was the original that's our final result now we can simply use any image and place it below our adjustment layers and the effect will be applied automatically just like this. You only have to adjust the curves a little bit and it works with the new image. And this is how you can create these custom posterization effects in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.